सर ये शाइस्ता है ना सुबह से मेरा दिमाग बहुत ख़राब कर रही है इसको ना मुंबई की याद बहुत आ रही है तो इसको बॉम्बे का कुछ खाना है मुझे है ना सैंडविच खाना है बस बॉम्बे में ऐसे सैंडविच मिलता है क्या हरी चटनी वाला और वो एकदम स्पाइसी बॉम्बे वाला और हम जाने वाले हैं अलसाज स्टेट पे है बॉम्बे कटिंग चाय बॉम्बे कटिंग चाय इनके ओनर खुद बॉम्बे से बिलोंग करते हैं और हम भी बॉम्बे से हैं तो कतर में हमको बॉम्बे का जो टेस्ट मिलता है ना वो बॉम्बे कटिंग चाय में ही मिलता है चलिए अभी वहाँ पर तो कुछ वो मालवनी कुछ वो चल रहा है वहाँ पे सब मालवनी और कोंकनी खाना भी है फेस्टिवल्स तो, जो भी रहते हैं इंडिया में तो उनके सारे क्यूजीन्स का वो टेस्ट यहाँ पे देते हैं दोहा में तो फिलहाल जैसा शाइस्ता बता रही है मालवानी फूड्स का फेस्टिवल ओकेशंस है यहाँ पे हाय गाइस हाय वेलकम बैक टू शेख फैमिली ब्लॉग उम्मीद है आप लोग सब खैरियत से हो तो हम पहुँच चुके हैं अलसा स्ट्रीट पर जो बॉम्बे कटिंग चाय है ये आउटलेट जो आप मेरे पीछे देख रहे हो और हम अंदर चल के इसका नज़ारा भी दिखाएंगे और यहाँ पे क्या क्या चीज़ें मिलती हैं आप लोग को हम ज़रूर बताएंगे इस वीडियो में और यहाँ पे है ना एक स्पेशल इवेंट भी होने वाला है रेडियो मिर्ची के 89.6 के आर आने वाले और होपफुली हमें भी मौका मिलेगा लाइव उनके साथ बात करने का तो एक कॉन्सेप्ट था इनका मुझे बहुत पसंद आया चाय पे चर्चा तो चाय पे चर्चे के कॉन्टेस्ट में शाइस्ता बाजी मार चुकी है इसलिए मुझे सुबह से क्रेविंग हो रही थी बॉम्बे का खाना खाने की जॉनी भाई वेलकम टू शेख फैमिली ब्लॉग ये है ओनर बॉम्बे कटिंग चाय के जॉनी भाई आपको हमारे चैनल में बहुत बहुत थैंक यू थैंक यू फॉर वेलकम कर रहे हैं हम लोग आपको और आपको बेस्ट विशेष आने के लिए और हम लोग हमेशा इनके रेस्टोरेंट का खाना खाए इनफैक्ट आपका जो ओपनिंग था तो मैं आया था और मेरे फ्रेंड सर्कल भी है उनको रिकमेंड किया था वो भी आते हैं यहाँ पे और हमें दोहा कतर में पूरा बॉम्बे का टेस्ट मिलता है दोस्तों जब हम धोनी भाई के हाथ का रेस्टोरेंट का खाना खाते ना स्पेशली ना मुझे इनका ना वो बॉम्बिल बॉम्बिल फ्राई बहुत पसंद है थैंक यू थैंक यू और बॉम्बे बिरयानी का भी टेस्ट मिलता है यहाँ पे थैंक यू दूसरा एक चीज़ है यहाँ पे चिड़िया का कीमा जो कि है कतर में सबसे बेस्ट अगर चिड़िया का कीमा जो पूरे रमजान में पूरे रमजान में भाई के आया था। शहरी, शहरी में हम लोग खाते थे थैंक यू थैंक यू इसका ना गाइस ये एम बी एस ना मुझे बहुत अच्छा लगता है दूसरा भी रेस्टोरेंट है कतर में जो राजू ऑमलेट के नाम से लेकिन उनसे अगर कंपेयर करेंगे ना यहाँ का एम बी एस भी अच्छा है खाना भी अच्छा है बहुत अच्छे से देखा है बिकॉज माई डैड इज अ वेरी फेमस 
मीडिया पर्सनैलिटी बैक इन इंडिया हैविंग सुन लाभ लेकिन हमारा बैकग्राउंड पूरा अलग है मॉम एंड डैड दोनों प्रोफेसर थे तो उन्होंने कभी भी ये नहीं चाह कि मैं मीडिया में आऊँ दे ऑलवेज वॉन्टेड मी टू बी अ प्रोफेशनल इन द सेंस एडर बी एन इंजीनियर डॉक्टर चार्ट अकाउंटेंट मेरे पास सिर्फ तीन ऑप्शन खुले हुए थे बट मीडिया अब बिग नो Now to cut a long story short, I still remember the time when I finished my engineering, where I was pushed into, and I was told to pursue my masters, M.Tech, in any of the premium institutes of India, let's say IITs and all. So उनकी बात मानते हुए मैंने एग्जाम लिखी भी ऐसा नहीं कि मैंने नहीं लिखा. And I still remember it was 2011, and मेरा All India ranking था 656. And उस वक्त घर वालों को बिना बताए मैंने IMC के लिए लिखा था एग्जाम, Indian Institute of Mass Communication. So the people who are there from India, you must be knowing that how prominent colleges like Indian Institute of Mass Communication, New Delhi, and Xavier's are. I got through Xavier's, I got through IMC, New Delhi, and Hyderabad. But they did not allow me to join. My brother was very skeptical of the fact that you kya jaan. They ko karna kya? Did you mein bolna? Pata hai wahan pe kya hota hai? Duniya dali. So I was too young then. I was just twenty. Okay, fine. I'm revealing my age. <laughs> so. Finally, I decided that no, I can't do it here. If I go back and then I drop it, then I will have to get ready for M.T.E.K. I have to run away. So, fortunately, it was a very good person for me, which was not in India. And I realized that there was no other opportunity for me to run away from this place. So, I just saw him. I saw that, yes, he stays in Qatar. And I was like, yes, I want to get married to him. And my mom and dad were like, you haven't even met him. I said, no, in photo, it looks so good. I'm a girl, I'm a girl, I'm a girl, I'm a girl. And I actually got married because of the faith abroad, because of this reason. And yeah, I have said that if you want something from the heart, then the whole world is going to be able to meet you with it. So genuinely, being in media, hosting shows and events, presenting, being in the best platforms was my dream. That has finally come through. I'm working with the best radio channel. I'm working with Times Group. Wow. And it's been a great deal for me. Thank you. Thank you. Apart from that, I was the only female non-Arab MC who did shows inside these stadiums and you were there for one of my shows, I don't remember, for FIFA World Cup. So that was like a big thing for me. So I have learned one thing, if you want something and you want something, then genuinely, we just want to stay here. So that is my story. Yay! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. और ड्रिंक भी जोना मैं फ्रेंड हूँ कि तू भी वेरी ऑनेस्ट ठीक है मैं आई जस्ट कॉल आई जस्ट कॉल हर आई आई वी सॉ हर दिस इज वेरी स्मॉल इंटरव्यू नॉन देन शी दिस द बेस्ट थिंग दैट आई हैव सीन इन एंड शो इज once she decides to do something, she will make sure that she will do it. And you can soon see her hosting an Arabic show because she started learning Arabic wow. and she can wow. do it. Wow. In just last three months, I have seen somebody putting so much of effort to learn a new language which I have been thinking over the last two years. It never happened. Then after 20 years also, it is not going to happen. But in three months, she is doing an Arabic class. She is going to host a show in Arabic. Wow. wow. All the best. By the name of the video guy Hassan, um, I chose this name very recently because I wanted something very common and like none of anyone else would have, it. and like someone doing videos in Qatar, for example. So yes, my profession, I am an accountant, very opposite to what I do in my personal life in a, as a blogger, and how I ended up in blogging is because since childhood my passion was photography and videography. So I was doing on my personal life, I was doing a lot of videography yesterday. So that's how I combined my photography, videography, and the cooking skills all together into the blog. My wife is the one who pushed me to do this. And also another person who encouraged me is Anju. Oh. Yes. That was a surprise. Yes. Yes, she is. I met her for the first time in what was that? Bikaneer Wala. Bikaneer Wala. Oh, 2000, last year. Yeah, summer. So that's, I had a blog already, but I was not so keen into posting stuff and like that. Not in a very organized way. So then she said that you can do it and she, she had seen my videos and stuff. So that's how I realized that I should be able to express my feelings, my work with others and it's really working very good for me. And in the end of the day,
updates, that's why I'm not doing So basically, it's, it's all about just doing what you love, regardless of what you're going to achieve on the way, that's all. So, yes, again, as she said, you just have to go, go try to go and get it, that's it. And eventually, the success will come your way. So that's how I want to go ahead. Just keep going for your passion, that's all. That's the only thing. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I was a state level, so that was kind of like the start for me to get on Instagram. 
Instagram, but not as a blogger, but mainly as a photographer. And then I started traveling. Before we moved to Qatar, we traveled a lot. We went on road trips, which were like, we covered like Ghetta, India. We started from Kochi, went to Leh, and back to Kochi. On, it was like a 23 day trip. And I actually started recording everything. And I was like, okay, maybe, you know, I can start putting this on Instagram. But life happened, and I didn't really have time. So just when lockdown happened, I was like, okay, maybe it's, now is the time I can actually start doing things. So I started using my photography skills to shoot more like food pictures and stuff and that's how I started my journey into vlogging. So here I am and I hope I see you here. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Vlogging in 2020. Yes, 2020. And uh, it's been it's been going great actually, I would say. So some can social media like you know mostly negatively bold enough. Yeah. But honestly speaking, since the past three years, I social media se hamesha positivity. Hi hai. There are few things, but in normal life, mein bhi hai. Okay? you cannot just say that, you know, whenever if you're, even if you're working in a company or anywhere, everywhere there is politics, everywhere there is everything. But there is the good fact about social media is you get to gain the confidence, okay, to speak, to show, like, you know, what whatever you want to create or whatever you want to you know tell tell or give a message to the world or anything you know it's it's basically a freedom i think so you know it, it gives you a freedom to talk to express yourself and uh, you know to um, to reach to your goals or whatever you, you have been planning in your whole life or anything you know it's basically a freedom i think it's the best thing is networking yes networking networking is what you know basically ye 2020 mein possible hua jaise ki kisi ne bhi kaha ki you know 2020 mein sab log digitally active ho gaye the basically digitally ka digital bolte hain na digital full world start ho gaya tha mostly so before that even i was not there in any social media because i think coffee that started the thing was viral exactly so this is this is what social media is all about Okay, so that's all. I think I'm a mommy actually. You won't believe, guys. I was, you know, using Orkut and then Facebook, and very rarely I was on social media. And you won't believe, guys. I started Instagram last year. Same thing. Yeah. And then what happened to me to start a YouTube channel? Something like that, you know. When we were sitting in Mia Park. And it was very nice weather in June 2022. It was summer, but in the evening time it was a good weather. So I asked Shaisa, she's my wife, I want to start some something. I don't know, I'm not on Instagram. And by this time, Alhamdulillah, we have more than 3,500 subscribers. Wow. Our channel is really to explore whatever we do at home, wherever we go, wherever, like any place in Doha, Qatar, outside Doha, India, everywhere. So we started our channel last eight months back. And by God's grace, it's really good. And I was not doing anything about editing, seriously speaking. What is YouTube? What kind of copyright plays will come and all that? Instagram. What are the criteria of Instagram? TikTok. Today I opened my TikTok account. Wow. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Today is the day I am on TikTok with my you know YouTube channel. <laughs> so let's open it. With my profession, I am an aircraft engineer working with an airline. And my qualification, I am graduate in mechanical. So studied in Mumbai for a long time and back settled in Doha for the last 10 years. Wow. Take it for a stronger than so I am RJ Afrin, popularly known as the mid-day mom girl and also known as the 
नाइन्टीज वाली लड़की क्योंकि यहाँ पर हम ज्यादातर तो लोग नाइन्टीज चेहरा से है हम लोग का अभी शो करके आ रहा था जी मैं अभी शाम शाम करके आ रहा था कि मैं सुनी रहा था अभी गाड़ी में एक्जेक्टली तो यहाँ पर सभी की जरिए हमने सुनी सोशल मीडिया से रिलेटेड एंड ऑफ कोर्स एवरीवन इज इंस्पायरिंग इच अदर इन देयर ओन वे अगर मेरे बारे में बात करूँ मैं मेरी जर्नी के बारे में सो इट्स बी लाइक अप्स एंड डाउन लेकिन वर्थ इट एब्सोल्यूटली वर्थ इट राइट डाउन मैं आज ही आप ही हूँ मेरी जर्नी मिर्ची के साथ में एक्जैक्टली लेकिन
और प्याज मम्मी वाला ताज लग रहा है फिल्टर अच्छा टाइम स्पेंड किया और आप लोग अपना ख्याल रखें दुआ में याद रखें गॉड ब्लेस यू ऑल असला